What's up, Legionnaires? In today's vlog, episode three, we've got a lot of fun stuff. We've got date night with the wife. We got Argyle movie review, the big giveaway of the Hulk 180. We've also got some reviews and some other fun stuff. Let's get into it. Boom! The week is off to a great start. It's Monday. Uh, while I was working out the notification that a package has arrived, it's none other than the Big Time Collectibles monthly mystery box. And check out the video where I posted this to see what is all in it and all that good stuff. And let's keep it rolling. All right, so I mentioned it earlier, but one thing that I do is I sell my excess books and stuff I don't necessarily want to keep over on Pop's Attic on Instagram. Link in the description. So this is the comic room that Pop built like uh, when I was like little. Had these posters laminated when I was a kid and everything, and he's moved books around and stuff like that. And I've got boxes in here. So stuff seems to move around, but I'm looking for a Silver Surfer. Edenwood and Hunt for Skinwalker Ranch. Hunt for Skinwalker Ranch was fantastic. I don't know if anyone else read it, but it was, it was too short. It broke my heart. I thought it was going to be going for a while, but I, I love that kind of stuff, man. It was a, it was a blast. So run it. Boom, there it is. There's the first two, so that means I'll take in and be able to post that complete series over there. Edenwood is a series that Tony Daniels is doing, and uh, I don't know if it's out here or not. I think that I never even brought it out here. It might be in the house. I need to double check. But I go, well, boom, it is out here. Edenwood issue one. This was actually really cool. It's pretty wicked, but because of so much happening right now in comics, a lot of titles are firing up. I'm about to be picking up so much other stuff. I can't be adding too much to my uh, pool list. So Edenwood, it got cut. And the last thing I'm looking for tonight is Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer Rebirth has been fantastic. Some of the Marvel throwback series. But I'm not keeping it in the PC. It just doesn't need to stay there. So Silver Surfer Rebirth Legacy is out. So there's Silver Surfer Rebirth to complete first one. I'll go ahead and put that up there too. So if anybody wants to read it and follow along the bill to get the first part as well as the second part. So I need to find issue one. There's that. Boom. So there we go. There's issue one of the second volume and the complete first volume. So if you're interested in that and missed it, it'll be going up. Now I am keeping my Miko Suwayan exclusive cover for it. Super dope. I'm keeping the Clayton Crane cover for it. I put some of those up on up on Pop's Attic already, but those are those are super cool. I love me some Silver Surfer, man. But uh, I read it, you know. It's not it's not going to have any uh, long standing like collectability value, and uh, I don't see myself rereading it anytime soon. And if I do choose to reread it, I can always reread it some way else. So uh, yeah, those are what's going up. I'm getting added to everything that came in the BTC box. So some some cool series going up. Tuesday, that means new DC books getting ready to head up to ABX Comics and Games. Link in the description. Fantastic shop. I'm also going to run by the post office and get some stuff mailed off, some recent DC Day wins, some stuff for a homie from a local shop here. I haven't been able to get to the post office in the past week, so I'm going to try to squeeze it in today before the live stream later on. If you don't know, every Tuesday at 2 p.m. I do a new DC Day live stream. Be sure to check those out. So watch him in his natural habitat as the gator searches for food and sustenance on the new comic book wall. What will he grab? Nothing. What's he looking for? Up here. This is like what a dickhead. <laughs> thing on you, Paul. That is one of the writers. All right, after making a quick siesta at my house, here we go, we have made it. My local post office, get these packages out. All right, so I'll have that stuff coming y'all's way ASAP. Definitely don't think this is the place to be filming inside people's personal influence though, so I'll catch y'all when I get out. All right, it's getting late and the kids are still playing outside. Pizza's almost here, let's go find them. Knock, knock, knock. Yes, yes, yes. Anybody home? Yes. Ring the doorbell. Well, the doorbell's closed. Well, hey, guys. What are y'all up to? Uh, we're, uh, we're, 
spending the night in here. You got your lights? Yeah. You got your toys? That doesn't look like a real Nile. Yeah, you got your real house going on. You got it. We have blankets for the inside and so the new. Not too many mosquitoes will come. I don't think any mosquitoes are coming this time of year, but you got it all set up good. Pete's will be here soon. Okay. Okay, I'll come get you when it's here. Okay. No, we we will see the pizza man. Wait, 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 stay. Daddy. What? Can I tell you something? What? Uh, do mosquito bugs like cold? No, mosquitoes don't do cold. There's no mosquitoes this time of year. Why? They just don't like cold. They sleep and stuff. All right, y'all have fun. Stuff. Yep. It's time to run, pick up some new books. There's some cool stuff to read this week from Marvel, DC, the Indies alike. I did ABX, grab my stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading. Leave me a comment. What did you enjoy reading this past week? It's a beautiful day in good old Augusta. Got some new books back at work. It's kind of chilling up here on the balcony of the cat house. Just enjoying some sun. Let's take a look at what I picked up from the LCS today, though. Definitely excited for this Avengers Twilight. Number one, really rocked my socks off. And that beautiful Alex Ross cover. I think that's the new Iron Man, his son. We got Duke, issue number two. Fantastic as well. Philip Kennedy Johnson's Hulk. I'm going to miss this Ghost Rider, man. We got a new Ghost Rider coming. I wish it was just more of this World War II Ghost Rider. He's awesome. And Power Rangers Unlimited Ranger Slayer, man. She is back. So uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what some of the stuff you picked up. Check out my DC live stream from... Uh, Yesterday to see all the DC stuff I got as well. So Oba's been working on that in secret, Finn? No. Did you just find out about it today or do you know she's been working on it? I know. Yo, this thing is awesome. She made this whole thing by hand. And that's Dude. from yarn. It's from yarn? Yeah. And look how much she did on it. Look at the mouth. Red and the steep the of white. Dude, what do you think about it? Friday morning, it is here again. We're getting ready to kick off the Legion Lair, the Friday morning hangout. I actually beat Rob here for a change. That's a first. Uh, CGC just had a brand new scandal. I'm sure we'll talk about that, hopefully just a little bit, because it's like beating a dead horse and it was just announced. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the uh, couple that was caught tampering with books at CGC. This will probably all that I cover it. But yeah, I'll see y'all on the live stream. It's Friday. It's that time to go pick up the kids, so I've got... Some trade paperback monsterverse reading. Check out Duke issue number two today, as well as the most recent issue of Power Rangers Unlimited tying in to this whole story arc they got going on. It's fantastic. So let's go get these Rugrats. So Duke issue two is fantastic. Joshua Williamson is crushing it. Who is it? Tom Riley on the art fits perfectly. This was fast paced, no holds barred. Introduce some more characters. Doesn't do much to kind of build out and really connect the Energon universe stuff. It's definitely Duke focused, but that's all right. We had a great in, uh, exit. We had a great little ending there with the Baroness being introduced. She's on the cover for issue three with Duke. Uh, having really enjoyed those corny movies they did, I like the connection with Duke and Baroness. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. The Energon universe over at Image Comics is some of the coolest stuff going on in comics right now with Transformers, Duke, and Cobra Commander. Uh, connecting with each other and retelling from scratch the origin of all of these beloved 80s properties. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the whole Energon universe. You got the monkey! We were in car line number two for the day. There's monkey back there now. And I just finished the Power Rangers Unlimited Morphin Masters. This was super solid. This follows up on the last issue from the Darkest Hour event thing that they got going on. It's fantastic. Ranger Slayer is on a quest to find the Morphin Masters. She has Draken's old coin, which has the power of the white light in it, which they're hoping is like a secret force that if they can get the white light into the grid, they can push back Dark Specter's poisonous darkness going across. She's fighting numerous emissaries that are juiced up by the Dark Specter. It's a great conversation piece between her and the pink emissary who we see for the first time. It's just a good book. This whole darkest hour thing that they have going on is absolutely fantastic if you haven't been reading power rangers and you're a fan of the power rangers check this out especially when they collect it this is the best the series has been since they did shattered grid all right i'm done reading the kids are trying to come out but i did get a good bit into the kong skull island birth of a kong this is awesome it's a follow-up to the kong skull island monsterverse movie you follow houston brooks's kid aaron brooks that was the the young guy who was part of Monarch's crew when they went to Skull Island, they're returning there to study more, and it's gone 
it's gone ape crap right from the beginning. I, I'm gonna have to do more videos and more details on these tie-in books for the Monsterverse. They're actually canon. It's really exciting stuff, and it's getting me even more hyped for Godzilla, X Kong, a new empire coming out in a few months. Uh, yeah, definitely gotta dive into more of that, but time to get Finn. Whole team's here. Time to head back to the house. Good luck to everybody that supports us. Legion, Link Squad, we love you, everybody in the chat. Come on, baby. This is, a, this is a big deal. Ready? In three, two, ah! This is exciting. Yo, yeah, you can't even see who's going to land on. No, you can't. Oh, no Who idea. is it? Can't see it. Papa Wee! Hell yeah, Matt. Massive wow. congrats. What a fantastic ending to the great event. Thank you so much to DJ Lynx for uh, working together again to bring our viewers, our supporters, and everything. A fantastic uh just amazing giveaway event. Congratulations to Papa Willie. He just won a CGC 8.0 first appearance of Wolverine with Hulk 180. Thank y'all so much for your support. We will definitely do something again. Make sure you keep up with myself and DJ Links. Let's date night with a wife eating a, like a steak for the first time in seven years. <laughs> and she had no clue that it was steak night. We're celebrating Valentine's Day early because we work weird. And we're about to go see Argyle. We'll let you know our thoughts along the way. We're here. We are here. Support your theaters. Do it or you're going to lose them and you're going to regret it. We're at the IMAX Regal 20 in Augusta, Georgia. About to go see Argyle, Matthew Vaughn's new movie. We're going to put the cat in the bag and kick some spy ass. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know what we think when we're done. Yo, check it out. Dune Part 2. And there it is. The big one for this year for me. Kong X Godzilla New Empire and I know everyone's pumped for Madam Web. You excited for Madam Web, Kyle? Yeah. <laughs> going on a mission, going on a mission. That's gonna be dope. Oh, we're getting ready to go and we'll see you after. <laughs> That's a wrap. Yo, go see that movie. Go see Argyle. If you like Matthew Vaughn films, any of them, you have to see this movie. It was it was a blast. Funny, action packed, had moments of heart, had all the stylized Matthew Vaughn stuff you can imagine, and stay after the credits for the biggest <laughs> surprise ever. Yo, what'd you think? That was awesome. Dude, it was it was so fun. Definitely a date night movie too. If you got somebody to take to a movie, take them. It was a great That's one. gonna do it for this week's video. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that join button down below, check out the merch, look at the description to find links, all kinds of cool stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next one.